If I weren't this man or half the same. All right, first things first, let's provide some protection for our head. We want a helmet that's going to provide protection around our temple and the back of our neck as well. What we want is a helmet that's going to be adjusted correctly, so make sure we do it up at all times. A helmet's going to do no good if we leave it unbuckled. We want to make sure that our ear tips fit in between the Vs of the helmet straps. We also want to make sure that our helmet's adjusted so it sits no further than two fingers above our eyebrows. If a helmet's sitting back more than two fingers above our eyebrows, then we're not going to provide enough protection for our forehead area. Now when we're adjusting our chin strap, we want to make sure that no more than two fingers can slide in underneath that chin strap, just to make sure that it's sitting nice and correctly. Give yourself a quick head wobble to make sure it's sitting nice and snugly on the top of your head. Helmets like these ones that have a wider brim are very good when you're starting out in canoeing because they provide you with a little bit more protection. Now we don't want to adjust our helmet so it's cutting off the circulation, but we still want to make sure it's sitting nice and snug. Remember the chin strap's gonna do no benefit if we leave it unbuckled. So make sure we do it up and keep it buckled at all times.